All right, whether you want to call them ideas, suggestions, or complaints, New Yorkers, all of us have them. Well, as the mayor elect gets ready to take office, New Yorkers are getting the opportunity to have their voices heard. Pix 11's Ramos is in Lower Manhattan with more on this ambitious citywide effort. Ramos, what's going on? Yes, it's. Yeah, it definitely is ambitious. Now, the effort is called Talking Transition, and basically that's what it is. They want New Yorkers to come forward and really talk about their ideas, concerns, suggestions that they have for the city of New York that can make it better. And then from there, they're going to take those ideas and present them to Mayor-elect Bill de Blasio and uh, see if he considers any of it as he transitions into his new role of power. Situated at the intersection of Canal Street and 6th Avenue, it's hard to miss a massive, busy tent with a simple message. The idea is really to take the, the moment after the, the, the people go to the ballot box and to keep New Yorkers engaged, to allow tens of thousands of New Yorkers to express their opinions to our new elected officials. And they're being allowed to do that via post-its and questionnaires taken on iPads. The response so far, overwhelming, with over 30,000 New Yorkers taking part. If there's one thing we can all agree on, New Yorkers love to talk. So what's on your mind? Um, ideas for New York City. I would say um, just trying to make the living here a little bit more cheaper. I would just tell them, you know, like if anything, not make it such a stereotypical thing as far as, you know, just, you know, black males, Hispanic males. If you're going to stop and search, at least like, you know, stop and search everyone, you know? Not yeah, well, if they stop you, they better stop the little 79 year old white lady, right? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's what that's what it is. When yeah. it comes down to it, you want to yeah. everyone should be treated the same way. Maybe add more um, trains on the A-line, maybe. I am a mother of a special needs child. It takes him longer to do the work that other kids can do faster. So that that would be better, like to have classes are so big. Sometimes there are like 35 kids in a class. So if they can make classes smaller, well, I think really the streets are really crazy. Once my sister, her foot almost really got ran over by a cab. If you had a message for the cab drivers, what would it be? Well, start being a lot more safer than what you are now. Great advice from a nine-year-old. I hope the cabbies of New York City are listening. I hope they're going to make it happen for us. You know, every, not everybody's a billionaire or a millionaire in the city, and uh, a lot of us are contribute, contributing to the, to the city and just want to make it a better place to live in. I'm barely in a thousand air. I'm, I'm like a hundred here at this point. I hope under de Blasio, it'll be about humans and just for the people for a change. Make, make everything, bring it back home. You know what I mean? So basically, if you have a, an idea about the TLC or the NYPD or a concern you want to share, they want to hear from you. They want to know what's on your mind. Uh, this tent right now, this is the headquarters for uh, Talking Transitions. It's situated on Canal Street between Barrick and 6th Avenue. Come on down if you really want to give them a piece of your mind. And of course, if you can't make it out, they're here till uh, November 23rd, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But if you can't make it out, they're always available online. Go to our website, pix11.com. We will hook you up and let you know exactly when a street team will be in your area. We are live in Tribeca tonight. Back to you guys in the studio, Tamsin Scott.